garbage. <gasps> I forgot. We should have had like um confetti. Cause you know what this month is? I know what this month is. It's my birthday mean? month. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's celebrate month. Oh, sorry. Make y'all sick from me hitting that. It's celebrate month. So your birthday is this month. It's May and it's our celebrate month. Not only is it Ash's birthday, but it's Mother's Day. And we thought, what a better way then for mothers and daughters to celebrate all month long. Mm -hmm. And so the first thing we're starting off with is celebrating gardening. And you probably see, I wore my gardening shirt. It's got flowers all over it. You notice that? Cute. So nice. You got some stuff on it. Did I get some stuff on it? Well, it's just I had little... lunch. Oh, it's hitchhikers yeah. from outside. Dogs. Okay. So anyway, so we're go doing um, gardening this month, and we were talking about how important it is in life to understand that gardening is used so often in the Bible, mm -hmm. and it's used as a segue to our real life, because even in the beginning of the, um, in the New Testament in Genesis, he talks about that with, um, you will toil and all of that, Adam will. And that's part of that weeding and tearing mm -hmm. out. And yeah. We need to do that in our own life. We need to weed and tear out the things in our life that are cluttering our, our life and cluttering it up a little too much. And that's what happens to a plant. If a plant gets cluttered up with too many weeds, guess what? It's going to get choked and it's going to die. Mm -hmm. And that's what we think happened to one of our plants outside. Remember those pretty plants that... Yeah, we're going to show them to you. We're going to show them to you. Those plants we planted back for that bridal shower that was so gorgeous the day we did it. Well, we didn't take care of them. And they started dying and we ended up really, I mean, some of them got really bad, but then again, when we started taking care of them, some of them have revived back to life. Mm -hmm. And so we're gonna show you that in a little bit. But just remember that, take a chance, buy a flower. If you kill it, you know, get another one. I can grow, uh, I'll tell you later on, I grow fruits and vegetable, fruit, uh, vegetables. I'm great at doing vegetables, but when it comes to flowers, I don't have much success. <laughs> no. Or plants. The only plant that we have that she successfully kept over the years is a staghorn fern. Now, what do you do with a staghorn fern? You leave it. You have to water it. You do have to water it. How often do you water it? I have Matthew do it every once in a while. But you have to give it banana peels. And you I get would banana always, peels I would and always chicken give bones. It, and chicken bones. But we don't eat bones. chicken anymore. So. But still, that's about <laughs> the extent of plants it is it is so I'm not the greatest with plants but gardening and the purpose of gardening is a very valid illustration when it comes to life we are supposed to take care of the plants and we're supposed to communicate with them when you talk to a plant it's supposed to make it get prettier and better mm -hmm. and that's what happens with our mother-daughter relationships we have to take care of those mother-daughter relationships mm -hmm. we have to communicate so that things get prettier and better because when we don't communicate what happens it starts dying that's right separating and you have to water it and watering it means taking time for it um, discussing things together and that's what you have to do with a plant. You have to water it. And God's word even tells us that we wash ourselves with the watering of the word. And so that shows you right there that we ourselves need watering. Our spirit needs watering. Hello. Time's going over that way. It's all something move. <laughs> she was totally zoning. I'm so tired. <laughs> and so, and so we're going to show you in just a little bit. We're going to segue outside. And we're going to show you about our plants and what happened to them. We're also going to show you what we're doing with some new plants that I was given mm -hmm. that we are going to use as an example. And so those of you who watch this, keep an eye out. Remind us in the future to ask us about what happened to the plumeria plants or frangipani. Yeah. Like, that's the other word for them. They're called frangipani. Isn't that a fun word? Some weird names for plants. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. So I was given some of them. So we'll see once. We'll see what happens. Who knows? So enjoy our outside segment. Hi. We are outside. And um, I want to talk because we're talking about gardening. And I said that we were going to come back out here because I wanted to show you something. I don't know. Do you remember uh, a few weeks ago? Or actually, 
it's been longer than that, about a couple months ago when we did that bridal shower. Well, here's what happens when you garden and you don't take care of what you're gardening. <laughs> so see this lovely plant here? This is a beautiful purple plant. <laughs> and if you don't take care of the things that you garden, they have a tendency to die and get all brittle. And that's kind of like it is with our lives. If we don't take care of the things that we've been given, they can die. Now, I will say this. This one, as dead as it looks here, has really started regrowing, which is kind of cool. At least I think that's regrowing. It might just be weeds. It might be weed. <laughs> that is so true. But some of the things, like this one here has a little bit of regrowth. And see, there's things that have actually come back. This one was like almost dead, and it's come back. This one's just drying out. This one is actually still okay, but the flowers have just died on it. But this one back here, definitely dead, dead and gone due to not watering. And so there's watering that has to be done. There's fertilizing that has to be done in your gardening. But I brought you guys out here because I'm actually going to do a little trial thing. So I was given, here, hold these keys, Ash. I was given these plumeria plants from a friend of mine. And she said these plants are so hardy that they can even grow in just dirt. Just dig a hole, stick them in, and they're gonna grow. And so we are gonna try that. We are actually going to try that. So I am going to dig a hole. Where should I dig a hole? Okay, so I'm back now. So what I ended up doing is a friend of ours gave us these plumeria plants and she claims that you can just stick them in any dirt and they're gonna grow. <laughs> she doesn't know me. Here's one thing. I can grow fruits and vegetables or vegetables, but plants are just a completely different thing. I have to learn how to do that. And it's really appropriate for what we talked about earlier. So, but I am trying what she told me. I've stuck three of them in three different areas. That one there is stuck in very moist soil. I pulled out the dead one I showed you earlier. This one here was in drier. And that one's there is definitely in the sand, in the ground. So we're gonna keep a look out of these, but we are celebrating gardening this month. And so we are just so happy to, oh, sorry, am I getting too close? <laughs> we're just so happy to try to show you that even gardening can have some applications in our real life. <laughs> Welcome back. So here we are again. I hope you enjoyed our little planting gardening segment. I hope you enjoyed the gardening in life. Take care of your mother-daughter relationships. Do you have anything about that? Maybe. We're going to talk about more this month. So more about We've got other celebrating things and yeah. celebrating relationships. I, I, think, I think you've covered it pretty well. I think next week is all about mama, mother, me. Yeah. Actually, we're doing interviews. Oh. So. <laughs> about Mother's Day. It should be all about me, though, shouldn't it? All about you? Yeah. How about all the other week? mothers out there? Well, they can join in with us, too. But, but that's also should... the day right before my birthday that we're posting this. It's it not about you. Me. It's about me. Day before my birthday? Uh -huh. Shouldn't be about me? No. It's all about Mama. You know what? I had a lady tell me one time that on your birthday... It should always be about your mother because she gave birth to Well, you know what? Me. Here's the thing. She I brought you into this world. She can take you out. Sometimes I share my birthday with Mother's Day. She does. She my does. 16th birthday, I shared on Mother's Day. You know how sad I was? Like, were you really sad? You should be happy. I was, I was, I, I'm was. very happy for you. I love you celebrating you. You have to celebrate. I love celebrating you. Well, your 16th birthday and then your mom gets celebrated more than you, that's whenever it just kind of gets. Did I get celebrated more than you? Yes. Oh, I need to take care of this weed right now. Weed? <laughs> well, the weed that came sunburn. in that made you hurt. <gasps> oh, sorry. That's right. She's got a sunburn. I'm so sorry. What do you need me to do for your birthday this year? Oh, nothing. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> that was she's back good. when I was 16. <laughs> So I had to take care of that to let her know that she's validated and she's loved. <laughs> no, I love celebrating. I love my birthday's close to Mother's Day. Happy so birthday. join us next week when we have some other mamas that we're hoping to interview.
So we'll talk to you then. See you then. Bye. Bye.